Welcome back, everyone. I have something really, really nice for you guys today. This is the Ember Smart Coffee Cup. You never have to microwave your coffee again. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Have you ever tried something like this? Now, some of us might like coffee piping hot. So this might not be for you, but we'll see. We're going to we're going to get into this one that way I could show you guys. So today this is Ember and there it is right there. Ember this is it has a lot of cool features. Temperature control mug for this is the 14 ounce. I'm going to leave a description below um the link for this thing. Keep your drink hot. You could set it. I okay, so it sets as um as a, as as default 135 degrees and then you could adjust it from there um and it says enjoy 80 minutes battery life and control with your smartphone safe to hand wash do not microwave it though do not microwave it. and it does say do not microwave it so let me go ahead and show you guys here how this thing looks like so here is the box and for the most part, the box is pretty simple. There's like nothing much in there besides the actual mug itself. So here it is. There is the mug. Now you do get a pretty good uh, power um, brick right here. It has amber in the back and pretty much it. Now with this, what you do is obviously power, plug it in, and then you should be good to go. So there it is right there. I just went ahead and plugged it in. Now it does have a, like your, your two little ports here. This is where the power is going to be coming through. Like the Ember thing. This thing feels really, really nice. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like it's not heavy. It doesn't feel budget. It feels like it's actually made very well. Now here is your coffee mug itself. This thing I have to say does feel premium. And right here down at the bottom, this is where your where you connect it to that. So it's pretty simple. You just put it into the device and then you'll see the glowing red line right there. So it just means it's charging. So pretty, pretty cool. You just leave it there and when it turns green, it should be good to go. So according to this, just reading this thing here, it says the, the, the power button's gonna be right below the mug. You press it once to turn it on, hold it to, for two seconds and that'll turn it off. To pair, you have to hold it for five seconds and the light will start blinking blue. Uh, press and hold for seven seconds. Light will blink yellow. This is to reset it. The only thing I will say, um, if I were to sit down with Clay, because I think this is actually pretty nice. Somebody like me at this temperature, 145, I think is the max you can get. 125 is the bottom. Um, that's pretty good. And I think a lot of people do think 145 degrees is going to be a perfect temperature. The only problem, though, is, is that there are people that really, um, there's some people that do like it above 145. I wish within the app you could hit a little button that says, you know, one, it, you know you're about to go past 145 and go up to like 185 maybe or 175 some people really i my brother-in-law he actually likes piping hot stuff so here we go let's go ahead and do this and we're gonna come over here and see if we could find this app here so here we go so i just did a simple search and yeah just ember install it give it a few seconds and it should it, it literally took maybe like 10 seconds click on it and there it goes it's 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 going to open up fire up and then it's going to say okay let's get started and this is how you pair it so i'm going to come down here pick my mug up and it says hold until it starts blinking blue so 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 and there it goes blinking blue there it is. So I'm going to hit next on my phone. So while using the app, um, I would just say, yeah, sure, whatever. Now it's connecting. So we'll give it a few minutes. And then just like Bluetooth, this is it, it's it's what you typically do with your headphones. So it connects via Bluetooth. Very, very simple. Now you could sign in according to your Gmail, your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever you want to do. Once you do, you're going to have a terms of service. You just got to agree to it and then sign up. And then you could start personalizing it. So select the, the, the color that you want. So right now it's here. Let me move it to blue. That's, that's neat. 
It's a little cute. So let's go ahead and do this one. It's it's. I don't want to confuse myself there. So right now it says empty. Do you see that? It says the cup is empty. Um, and if there's any kind of updates, it says there's an update. So all I have to do is just hit install. Now from here, it it's going to give me my updates. Before updating, please make sure that your Ember mug and phone are not far from each other. Ember mug and phone battery must be at least half charged. And so there it goes. So it's, it's going to start validating its thing here. So it looks good. What I would do, it doesn't say not to do this, but I'm going to move my phone. Here's my phone. I'm going to move it over here where the charging dock is at. I don't know if that's going to affect it at all, but at least it'll keep it charged while it's doing whatever it's doing. So it did say the mug disconnected unexpectedly. I don't know if it's because it's starting to charge now. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to lift it. I'm going to hit done. And I guess just click that little gear icon and it says new update available. So I'm just going to do it this way. Just hit update. Why does it say unexpected? So it says, please allow the mug to reset and try again. So I guess I'm going to turn it off. Okay. So I held it for two seconds. The light is off and I think to turn it on. Uh, so pair new device. Okay. So that's cool. So I'm going to just click it on once. So there we go. Okay. It looks like we're good. New update, update, and for whatever reason, see, anytime, anytime it makes it kind of difficult like this, it, it just, it's just a headache, you know? So I think it says the mug, okay, please allow the mug to reset and try again. So I think if we hold the button for seven seconds, it should reset itself. So let's go ahead and try that. 1006, 1007, 1000, it should turn yellow. There we go. So the mug disconnected unexpectedly, allow the mug to reset and try again. Okay, so it did turn, it did blink yellow and I'm gonna hit done here. And I don't know, okay, so this is the color meaning I should be on. So I'm gonna hit update available. I'm gonna hit update and I'm just gonna kill the app. So let me just kill the app, open it back up again to see if that, if by resetting that and resetting this thing actually works. So just wanted you guys to see, yeah, and it, and it's not it's not doing whatever it's supposed to do so okay so right now the cup does say it's empty so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pour in some water here and there we go so i got some water poured in as you can see um so it shouldn't be empty anymore so let me see if i have to move this around for it to pick up what i want so it looks like okay heater off 120 is the bottom 145 is the top so let's see here let's click on that gear icon we're going to go to home and that is home we're going to go to my devices so we are connected and let's see personalize okay we already have this thing personalized you know let me move it to this paint color just so that way i could see it change there so let's go ahead and do that and i wonder if my it, it, it says that it's connected but i don't know why it's not doing its thing here and it's still showing the old color okay so i held held it there for a couple seconds it did read that it was offline now and the app did disconnect it for whatever reason it's not communicating between the two so let's go ahead and power it back on there we go and remember, I did I did change the color to this thing right here. So this thing should definitely be a new color. Tap on the mug image to connect. All right, so I'm going to tap on it. And let's go ahead and tap on it. So it's still pairing. So this is what I'm saying. It's 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 clunky. It's it's definitely clunky. It's, it's not that user-friendly. It's The concept seems very simple to use. However, it's not... Um, as simple as you think now for whatever reason i'm getting this light right here i'm not really sure why and and as you can see here it, it says connecting connecting i'm tapping it it connects and then it disconnects um i don't know so let's try this now we're gonna go ahead and uh hold it for five seconds until it starts uh blinking blue so one one thousand two one thousand there you go so right now and then now it just want now it wants to work. <laughs> now it wants to work, I guess. So it says it's 90, 98 degrees, 99 degrees. Looks like it's coming down. I want it. Okay, that's okay. So that that light right there, that means it's 
working its way up. For whatever reason, it didn't want to connect to the phone, though, which is interesting. It was saying, like, yes, it's we're, we're getting there. So I don't think battery life 75%, new update available. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, there it goes. So the the it's it's now all of a sudden miraculously working so this is what i'm saying it's it's it, it, i want to love this thing but it it's not as simple as you would think all right so it says validating firmware now and we're past that 50 percent mark all right so it says 100 percent uh success your firm is, is okay cool looks like we're good to go looks like i'm still at 75 percent uh, I'm, I'm on Fahrenheit. The options here that you can choose is Fahrenheit, which is the U.S., Celsius, which is everyone else in the world. Um, notifications, you could turn this on. Again, you could personalize it. It looks like it's at 99 degrees, and it's still working its way up. So I'm just going to leave it here for a moment just to see what it's doing. Now, while we do wait when it's getting there, um, I've already been waiting maybe five minutes and it hasn't really moved up yet. So I really hope this isn't something that's going to take forever to do. I'm going to just scroll up. It says here you got a uh, heater off. You got your latte, your cappuccino, your coffee, black tea, green tea. Has a couple things here. So that's pretty neat. You have a timer. A tea timer, so green tea, black tea, herbal tea, three minutes, five minutes, six minutes. Um, okay, if you click on this thing to go tea time or, or preset temperatures, whatever, you can hit that plus sign. You have reached the maximum number of presets. So if you click on one of these things, you could rename it and you can save it, which is pretty cool. Coffee, coffee is 134. Um, black tea, 136. So kind of interesting how they have those temperatures. For your green tea, you could set up a timer. So edit tea timer preset. And I'm not really sure. I guess it's just going to, I don't know what it would do. It's not, it's not like it's going to spin or anything like that. You do have recipes here. For your recipes, you got lemon, honey, ginger. You got beet latte, beet latte. I don't know about that. Chai spiced hot chocolate, uh, golden milk, cinnamon matcha latte. That's interesting. So for your beet uh, you have your recipes. Yeah, I got to click on this thing, I guess. Or directions, recipe. Okay, so <laughs> I'm clicking on it, and there I don't see anything on it. I guess might be some sort of subscription that I might need, recipe ingredients, but it's blank. So that kind of does me no. So, you know, I, I wanted to be sure you guys see what those what those challenges are and that way you guys could could see like the challenges are real it definitely real so the cool thing is when you are down here and you're just like okay i know i'm going to be drinking coffee or green tea or whatever you pretty much just choose what you want and it's it'll, it'll say right there coffee this is the current temperature and then if you want to move it around you could see the 134 is your current temperature so i know i'm messing with it a little bit but i've been waiting now for 10 minutes and we're still at 99 degrees. Um, if I put my finger in on this thing, it's 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 warm. For sure, it's warm. Um, and I, I, I don't know if it's actually moving up or if, if it's just going to tell me, okay, we're here. So I guess we just got to be patient and keep waiting. When I do a simple search of... What is the average temperature of a Starbucks coffee? It's between 150 to 170 degrees. According to beverage resource manuals, the standard temperature for hot Starbucks drinks is between 150 to 170, not including Americanos. Um, children's drinks are typically around 130, and that's based on the manual. So this is a... This is an, an, an a standard average temperature. Now, here's one thing too here. I look at the bottom. It says, what is the average coffee temperature? Hot beverages such as tea, hot chocolate, coffee are frequently served at temperatures between 160 degrees or 71 degrees Celsius and 185 degrees or 85 degrees Celsius. So... Typically, when it's probably around that range, I'm I, I'm just going to average it in 
170. If it's going to be at 170, I already know I'm going to be like, whoa, this is this is hot. The, the, you know, it, it's hot for me. Um, as you can see here, it's, it's about 129 right now. So 45 minutes to 50 minutes later, close to an hour for this thing to get from 100, well, 99 degrees all the way up to 145. Um, if I click on this, it says battery life, like, where is it? Right there. Battery life, 9%. Um, it does show the charge is still there, so it's kind of holding it. Your perfect temperature of 145 has been reached. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, now, when I do pick up the mug, I, it definitely feels warm. This feels, like, you know, warm. There is a little bit of steam coming off of this thing, just a little bit. Now, okay, I will say this. At 145, I'm able to sip this just good. It is hot, um, but I know if I can drink this, it's not hot enough. <laughs> if I can drink it, it's not hot enough. As you know, we were looking at the thing. It says for kids, it says 130, 135 average. This is only like what 15 degrees, a little bit hotter than that. Yeah. Um, it's definitely hot. Well, I, I shouldn't say it's hot. Like I can feel it where it's just like, okay, cool. This is a, this is, this is warm and I got to sip it a little bit. Typically the way I drink my stuff is at this temperature at the hottest peak of this, which is again, for people who like it hotter than this. And I know there's a, like, you know, I, I could go through my whole entire family. I'm, I'm the one that's a, that's a little baby when it comes to this stuff. Um, it's good for me, but for those people that are avid coffee drinkers, this will not be good for you. This will not be hot enough for you. It, you would feel it where it's just like, cool, I could feel it hot, but it's not hot. Concept's cool. Um, some people are going to love it. Some people are going to want it hotter. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was so long. Make sure you guys do check the description below. I will leave a link to this if you're interested. Um, again, for me, if I'm drinking this thing and I'm drinking it consistently, 145 is, is perfect. And if it's going to hold it at that temperature, that's perfect. Um, for the people who want it hotter, uh, maybe not so much. So <laughs> you guys take care, take care of each other and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.